Hello and welcome back to Tester News. My name is Marion and I'm your host today and I'm glad to have you back here on my channel. If you're new here or you didn't subscribe yet, do consider doing so. I would really appreciate that. We start with the new Model 3 battery pack. As I mentioned in the beginning of the year, there is something going on and CATL has been talking about that before. They want to mass produce this new battery. It is a LMFP battery. It's supposed to be even cheaper than the LFP battery and it is going to have around 15 to 20 percent more energy density. The only thing that is not clear yet is they are developing a M3P battery and what I don't really get yet is if that is supposed to be only for the Model 3 performance or are they going to use the battery pack as well for the standard range or maybe even the long range, who knows. So what is clear is, is that CATL is sending test battery packs to its customers so they can take a look at it. Um, and I'm actually pretty sure that a CATL will be mass producing this battery um, by the end of the year. And I do expect updates happening maybe at Tesla cars by the beginning of next year, which is a usual way that is happening that Tesla is actually making updates to a battery or any other stuff by the end of the year or beginning of new year. So um, very exciting news to be honest with you. Batteries um, could get better here. Um, range could get better. We have to see the real results at some point at the end of the year. What is pretty clear is um, for all those coming from Europe, I wouldn't really advise to move your delivery time back or stop your um, delivery just to get maybe this new battery pack. I wouldn't do that. Um, I think it will be a difference, but it's not like the breakthrough that we see. Um, again, new batteries are always a small step towards um, many, many more steps that make it even better in the future. So I think that is a, um, a great new battery pack that we can um, use in Tesla cars, but I wouldn't uh, postpone my um, delivery time or my reservation right now just to wait for this. For the European customers, we have the first candidate that could be actually moving to the South Pier, um, which is the Morning Chorus. Um, we still have to wait. It is now leaving um, Korea. So um, we need to see the updates here, but no ship yet um, at the site. But it looks like the parking lot is getting very, very full down there at the harbor. So um, very exciting to see that. Then when it comes to Sandy Monroe, it looks like we could see um, a new interview actually. Um, Elon Musk was hinting to it as he was saying that um, um, maybe we can discuss the 4680 battery pack. The discussion that is going on here is just regarding the um, way it is inside because um, the open question was how can you recycle such a hard um, pink um, consistency in there. How do you get that out to get the batteries, do the recycling? And um, Elon Musk might be explaining that in an interview, but I think many people now try to misunderstand that and say it's not recyclable. Tesla is not doing it the right way. That's not the point. Um, Elon said it is recyclable. I do think it will be recyclable. And I do expect that there's a way to get um, all the pink stuff out, this foam, um, to make it easy to um, recycle this battery pack. Talking about recycling, we were looking to a, um, co a collaboration right now, um, which is actually pretty interesting because um, recycling is one of the last steps in this entire cycle um, to control that we are getting more sustainable. And recycling batteries is one part of that. And Redwood Materials, I have talked about them many times on this channel. They made a deal now with VW and Audi um, in the United States. And I believe this entire recycling um, business is going to be a billion dollar industry at some point because all those batteries have to be recycled at some point. We need every single battery back being recycled. And I think living in a recyclable um, society is very, very important. So I think Redwood Materials is one of the first candidates which at some point will go onto the stock market and could become the next billion dollar company. I'm pretty sure about that. So keep this um, company in mind. I can just um, um, tell you to have an eye on to this company. They're doing a very good job. If Tesla is doing this entire process themselves, 
um, we still have to see that if they're going to do the, um, own, their own battery recycling, it would make a lot of sense. Then we have another view on the new supercharger, the V4 and the V3. Um, so the design is gonna change now, um, but for European customers, I think we are not gonna see any major change coming very soon. I do expect though um, that we will see in the United States a lot of new V4 soon. Um, there's supposed to be some working together with V4 and V3 but we still have to see that um, in the daily use. Um, maybe we're going to see a supercharger production like in China and Europe as well, maybe as well here in Grünheide. We still have to wait for that. Currently nothing happening in Grünheide, just the upgrade happening inside. Looking into China, we see the importance when it comes to Tesla that they are leading already the market because um, China wants to have 72% of buses um, being in an electric ve uh, vehicle way um, by 2025. And I think we um, can be just um, connecting the dots here to um, see that it is with EVs going to be the same. Um, they are very aggressive. Um, they are not forbidding any foreign companies yet to sell any gasoline cars. But again, guys, um, I think it is just a question of time once NEO, BYD and other companies are getting really strong to support the demand in China. And I think that is going to be the big awakening of VW, BMW, Mercedes and other cars if they are just not going to be allowed to sell any cars anymore, only EVs. And China knows that those companies from Germany are not ready yet. So um, that is a point to consider as well. I think I like that, that Tesla is building a battery cell production in Germany. But what I would prefer is as well the Model 3 production over here. So we get like everything in Europe made for European customers. That would really help the entire situation we are currently in when it comes to wait times. And if we are looking into battery cell production, and as we talked about recycling before, just um, illustrating here one more time how the price of lithium has increased like crazy. Um, lithium carbonate is just getting like crushed. I mean, the prices are just insane. So I do expect that even though maybe it wasn't possible yet or maybe companies didn't um, want to do it yet, at some point they will be pushed into the market of recycling. And that's where I come back to redwood materials. It is just very important to get the stuff recycled and then back into new batteries. So thank you very much for being here today. I really appreciate your time again today. And if you were new to my channel, I would really appreciate as well if you subscribe. Um, this really supports my work and I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Bye bye.